Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow. One of the best ways to get your dog interacting with you is to get them playing with you. Today, Stella, the four-month-old Italian Greyhound puppy, and I are going to show you what to do. You're kind of funny looking, you know. Click thumbs up for Stella. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. I've been enjoying sharing with you guys some of my favorite super premium dog foods lately. I want to tell you about Open Farm. Let's take this formula. Ocean whitefish meal, field peas, green lentils. When you see an ingredient lists like that, you know that you're feeding your dog something really good. You'll get super premium quality ingredients like wild caught fish, fresh fruits and vegetables from local farms, and meat that's humanely raised. All of their recipes are grain free, high in protein, and they avoid using high risk ingredients that are often associated with allergies. And they've got some unconventional ones like these cod skins too, which are way cool. You can actually trace every single ingredient in your bag of Open Farm back to the source using their what's in your bag feature. Stella is loving the dehydrated chicken treats. If you wanna feed your pet like family, make it easier and order your food from PetFlow and have it delivered directly to your front door. I'll have a link and a coupon code in the description that'll get you all set up. We all know that you can use treats during training, but if you can get your dog playing on cue and bring some structure to that play, you might be surprised at the rapid progress you can achieve. But not all dogs immediately like toys, or maybe they like one toy, but not another. Today, we're gonna see if we can get Stella interested in playing with different toys. Let's see how Stella reacts to this toy. You'd be surprised at what a squeaky sound can do. Of course, be cautious when squeaking a toy right in your dog's face for the first time. You don't want to scare them. Oh, look at this. One way to get your dog really interested in a toy is to bring it to life. Make it exciting. Do a little bit of keep away here. Let them win sometimes. Don't just keep it away from them forever. If your dog doesn't get this into the toy immediately, it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. She just happens to really like this particular toy. Experimentation is a huge part of getting your dog interested in different toys. There are really two types of toys out there. You have toys like this that are really fun for training and getting your dog to engage with you. Things like tug toys, frisbees, balls. And then you have toys like bones or other safe chew toys. And it's important that with toys like this, you only break them out when you're directly interacting with your dog. Safe chew toys, however, they can chew on those anytime. Now, just because Stella <laughs> likes this toy here, doesn't mean she's gonna like every toy in the world. I've got an idea. I wanna try our next toy. I don't think it's gonna be quite this easy to get her into it, but let's see what we can do. I love a dog that will play Frisbee, but a Frisbee to most dogs is actually quite boring at first. I mean, it's just a thick piece of plastic. This one's gonna take a little bit more work, I suspect. I'm moving the Frisbee around here trying to get it interesting and she's just over there sniffing the door saying what's over here she's not interested in this frisbee one bit yet what's this what's that Ooh, there we go right there see she looked at it a little bit more curiously i like that that's where it starts she likes it when i move around that's okay that's cool and so if i could get her interested in me and transfer that to this frisbee that'd be great okay Stay with me here. I know this seems a little weird. I'm holding a feather. Hey, Stella, what's this? What? See, years ago, when I used to do frisbee dog competitions with my own dogs, my dog Supernova, he wasn't particularly interested in frisbee. So I stumbled on this by accident, noticing that he really loved this particular cat toy that had feathers attached to it. I took those feathers off the cat toy, taped them on the frisbee, and the rest is history. Clearly this modified toy isn't something you'd wanna leave with your dog unsupervised. I'm just trying to spark her interest, and I'm trying to think outside the box a little bit just to get her interested in the frisbee. So use discretion, of course. Yeah, what is that? Whoa, okay, already, immediately, more interested, look at that. Yep, and she's checking it out. That's already a victory. You know, just be creative with it. If your dog doesn't immediately take to a toy, that doesn't mean they hate the toy. It might take a couple of training sessions. So you can see we're on the right track with this. Now she's not totally taken to the Frisbee in one single training session, but that's okay. We saw her lighten up and get fairly interested in it, more so than she was. And sometimes just small bits of progress are all you really want. So I think she's on the right track. Of course, your dog is gonna have some say in what they like and what they don't like. <laughs> you want the baseball mitt? Oh, look at that, I love it. She loves a tug toy. 
There's so much you can teach with a tug toy. Look at that, get it, get it. It's not like your dog is gonna just love most toys. So it's important to make toys interesting to your dog. And so the more you play with your dog with different toys, the more you should notice that their interest intensifies over time. Check out Open Farm's amazing line of products at PetFlow. Thank you so much to our patrons for your financial contribution to these videos too. If you think Stella did a great job today, give her a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. See you guys in the next video.